Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to show you how to collaborate with other musicians who might be using other DAWs. When dealing with other Reaper users, we can easily share projects with each other, but when working with projects that originated in another DAW, you may be sent stems that you need to import into Reaper. Let's take a look. I've been sent a zip file from a Pro Tools user, so I'll start by extracting the zip files. Now with the files extracted, I'll start Reaper and create my new project. I'll navigate to the folder where I want to store this project. My default is to create a subdirectory for each project. I'll create a subfolder with the band name. And inside of that folder, I'll create the project. This song is called Stay Away. As I save, it will automatically create the subdirectory for this project. I know from communication with the originator of this project that it's at 184 beats per minute, so I'll go ahead and set that in my project. You can either set that in the BPM indicator in the transport, or you can click on File and Project Settings and set the BPM there. I like to set my time base by default to time. This ensures that if I am wrong about the beats per minute and change the BPM, the imported audio will stay exactly as it was when I imported it. Let's click OK to get out of Project Settings. And before we import any audio, there's one more thing that I'd like to make sure is set. Go to Options, Preferences, and Media. Our first option says, when importing multiple media items to prompt user, this will ensure that as we import the stems, we have an option to either place them all on the same line or on their own tracks. Be sure to place a check mark under Copy Imported Media to Project Media Directory. With those two options set, click OK. I'd like to cover one other item that I have set for my project defaults. Be sure to click the link above to see a more in-depth discussion of these settings from John Tidy with Reaper Blog. Go to File in Project Settings, and under the Media tab, I like to make sure that I have a subfolder inside of each project folder that contains all the audio. A relative path here will ensure that this is created in the subfolder for each project. Now that I've got that done, I'm ready to import my audio. I'll open the file browser and navigate to the directory where the files were extracted. Here we have all the stems. I'll select all of those and drag them into Reaper, and we've been prompted as to whether we want to place those on a single track or on separate tracks. I'll choose separate tracks, allow the peaks to build, and if we look in the project directory, we'll see that each of those stems has been imported into that project's audio directory. If there's any drums or transient material in the stems, it's a good idea to check those to verify that everything lines up as it should. Let's zoom in on this e-kick track. And we can see that that transient is lining up with the first beat in a measure, so we should be in good shape. Let's zoom back out, turn down some levels, turn on our metronome, and take a listen to make sure that this is all lining up correctly. That sounds like everything is in line. With the stems imported, now all that I need to do is add my drum tracking template, and I'm ready to get started. We'll revisit this once I've got my drums tracked, and I'll show you how to export those stems and send them back to the Pro Tools user so he can import them into his project. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee.